now we have four routes ready and corresponding to all the four routes we require some view or a HTML page so let's uh, start creating the view so in this video we will be mainly focusing on creating of views so let's see how we can create that so for that if you remember we will go to the resources and views so the test.blade is the file which we created earlier so I will create a directory first uh, which will be named as product okay and I will be storing all the views inside that so first there will be index.blade.php for index uh, function create uh, edit.blade for edit function after that there will be create.blade for create function and we have now uh, three views okay and do, you, do we need more no I think we don't need more it's enough I think for now so we are having three so you can see that all the view is going to have some duplicate things like there will be head body these are the something which is duplicate and we need to create this in all the views like there will be header in all the views so what I am going to do I am going to create a, I am going to utilize this blade template and I will create a folder called layouts and inside the layout I will define the layout like the layout will be having header and footer which will be common for all the files uh, you will see the code you will get get much more idea and the blade is uh, like awesome templating engine and uh, let's see how it works so first of all uh, this is our app.blade.php will be the parent template so here you can see this is very simple and you can see this is welcome.blade so if you see this is by default I am just showing you this page so here this is the uh, you see the at the rate symbol so that are the blade directives so you see uh, there are lots of things in a uh, web page so we are not going to create uh, or do something related to this we will just remove this file for now because we are not going to use that so now currently we are having uh, layout so in the layout in the body the content is going to be changed for all the files so in the um, create uh, dot blade dot php we will say create page in the edit page we are just going to say edit page in the h1 tag earlier we were sending string now we are going to send a html page in the index page we are going to say index page so we are having three different um, files with different uh, h1 tag and different text and this is the layout file so uh, so uh, blade template engine is something which you need to learn a little bit so first of all I am going to use yield and here I am going to give the uh, like a name or a label so yield content so we will be providing content in this file and that will be placed here so from every file whenever I will pass the content it will be provided here in this layout file so when you will see this in the action you will get much more idea so instead of doing this directly I will just do extend and after that what layout we want to extend we want to extend layout dot app so layout is the directive name and when you are going inside a directive usually we use slash or backslash but in blade template we use dot so layout dot means inside the layout uh, there is a app uh, file and here in the section we just have to tell the uh, what is the data uh, which is inside that section and uh, sorry uh, for the interruption what is the uh, uh, data inside the section which we are going to pass in layout and when we provide that section it will be used here wherever you are using yield that will be just replaced there so we are using this section we are extending that page so I will be doing same for every page like edit page and let's do the same for create page so we are extending this layout and after that we are just uh, creating a section and the section is going to be 
replaced in layout file wherever we are using yield okay so we are currently having three files so let me show you so here you can see that uh, whenever wherever there is a section with the content and wherever there is yield that will be replaced correspondingly and when you are extending this file layout.app it knows that we are extending this file and it will go to that file it will look for the yield content and wherever it will get it will just pick the section and replace here so almost we have created this so let's try this and see if it works so currently there is a string and now what we are expecting we are expecting we should get h1 tag so this is not h1 tag this is not looking good uh, so i think i missed something let's see what is the, that thing which we miss so whenever we will going to this route it is calling the controller so the controller is calling the index so let's go to the controller like i am seeing the flow so when it will come to the controller it will it is returning the text so i just need to replace it here from view so here is the problem so we will return the view and where is the view so view is inside the uh, view is inside the product directory let's see resources and views so inside the view if the file was directly inside the view we will write the file name but currently the view the index is inside the product directory so we will write product dot index so it will go to the product directory and look for index dot blade dot php that's it so if i refresh uh, it says extended i think i am missing something or there is some mistake uh, let's see what is that mistake why this is not working so for that we will go to the layouts and let's see if this is correct so this looks correct to me yield content mm, yeah yeah this is correct Mm. something is missing mm. the old content i think i should uh, look into the index like the index file so maybe there will be some issue so there is okay okay, okay. this must be extends not extended uh, okay extend so now it looks good so let's try this again now it is saying layout dot app not found so inside index dot blade dot php it is saying layout dot app not found so let's see why it is saying so so layout dot app okay it should be layouts you can see the directory name is layouts very simple mistake anyone can do and anyone can easily identify also okay so let's try the create so we are getting the create page again the create page is having a simple string instead of h1 and the reason is we are returning a simple string there so let's replace this with view it's fine do the same thing for edit also so let's copy this paste it change the file name to the edit that's it so we are having all the page ready and uh, let's try yeah